Hello YouTube, it is I, Band of Wendy. How are you? It's Friday, 8-28-15. And I wanted to come in and do an update video on me um, and what has taken place, what's going on since three weeks ago. Last Friday, I'm sorry, three Fridays ago, I believe, I was in Los Angeles and I saw my bariatric surgeon. I had my every three year uh, upper endoscopy. We reviewed my annual fluoroscopy uh, and I have a video about that. So you can go uh, take a look at that. The stoma size was great. The esophagus size was great. Band positioning was perfect. I requested a half cc unfill. I got it. So I went from 5.3 cc's in my 10 cc allergen band to 4.8. During the upper endoscopy, he uh, found that I had a um, yeast fungus. Uh, so he gave me medication for that. So where am I, right? What am I doing? How's that going? If you remember, I was like, the band is, you know, 60 to 70% of the work is me and 30 to 40% of the work is the band. And that I felt very confident, with a question mark, that my lifestyle habits, the things that I have learned while being a lap band patient, six years and six months, um, including, right, this, my personal accountability, uh, my fluid intake, my portion control, my nutrition choices, my regular fitness activity, my vitamins and supplements, uh, along with the other rules that I was given to follow, um, not drinking with my meals, not drinking before the meals, keeping my portion sizes two to four ounces, picking the protein first, getting in 210 minutes of fitness, um, would be what I needed, right? So. What's the update? My hunger and satiety seem to be the same. So that half cc, not a big deal, right? Uh, the portion control, I'm definitely on the four ounce portion control, more than the two to four ounce, it's definitely more at four ounces, which is fine. Uh, my caloric intake, pretty much the same. Uh, anywhere from 900 to 1600 calories I've seen and roughly uh, 100 to 145 grams of protein. Water has been the same, 101.4 ounces of water. I did have one day where it was 133.8 I believe. So four of these instead of three. Um, fitness is great. Uh, weight. It's actually gone down. So it was 133, lowest I've ever been, um, when I went to see my surgeon and got that slight deflation and got the news of this fungus. Uh, the feelings of having difficulty swallowing or feeling like food was sitting there or regurgitating food ever since. So I saw him on Friday. That Friday, I bought this probiotic, right? Not cheap. It's like 23 bucks for 24 pills. Um, once a daily 10 billion active cultures digestive health um, I started taking this this is my second bottle of these I take two a day started that on that Friday with that deflation on that Friday have not had a stuck a PB an uncomfortable sitting feeling since right uh, it took until Monday for me to get the RX at the pharmacy they didn't have it right so I take four of these a day. This is a swish and swallow uh, nice satin, right? It's to treat yeast. So I do that four times a day. I still have these two left to go. So that's one day, two day, three day, four day, another five days of this. The daily antibiotic that I take, uh, the fluconazole, whatever, uh, take two tablets on the first day and then one tablet by now. I still have at least uh, 10 days of that to take. Uh, and guess what? I had a vaginal yeast infection too. My doctor didn't say that, but I started thinking about it and putting some things together. And so I treated that as well. So I'm on, I, you know, 
that process, as far as I know, everything is working. I feel great. My weight is not going up. My lifestyle habits that I put in place are the same and they are working. Um, so I feel really good about where I'm at. My surgeon sent me a text message the other day and wanted to check in on how I was doing. Uh, and he wants to do another upper endoscopy after I finish this treatment to make sure the yeast is gone, right? I've got two trips uh, to Los Angeles, October and November, so I'm gonna try seeing what his schedule is to fit in another upper endoscopy. I'm with him, I'm on board for that, because if that yeast isn't gone, I want to correct it, obviously, and so does he. But all that said, you know, uh, oh, I think it was Cabernet Queen back in the day, Sally Curtis Wimbley, um, she had made a comment one time about uh, a weight loss surgery tool being a two by four that smacked you up the head or a rubber band that snapped your wrist. Pretty t big difference, right? And although I have a lap band and not the tool that's designed to, to you know, two by four to hit, hit you upside the head, to a certain degree, I have kept my lap band tight. I have used my lap band um, to the point where sometimes I did get that smack upside the head. And I think I needed that. Now, I've always you know, worked to pick the right food choices, make sure I got my fitness done, worked to get the water, uh, stayed accountable on the scale, um, took the vitamins, measured my portions, uh, you know, picked protein first. I've always done that. Um, but sometimes I wanted to eat more. Sometimes I wanted to eat the wrong thing. And the lap band would, could easily stop me from doing that. Right? I can go into a, 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 a bread counter or a Starbucks treat thing and I'm not eating that stuff in there. The first thought is that's not going to work with my lap band, the two by four, right? So there's this behavioral change that's gone along with that two by four that I had smacked me upside the head. And this week I watched a video of my week from week 15 to week 28 post-op and week 18 to week 28 dynamic changes for me. I mean, those 10 weeks define my future with my lap band. I really do believe. And on, on week 28, I was at 4.75 cc's, I think, or 4.3, 4.75, I think, almost where I am today. And listening to myself speak about that tightness, that awareness, the band, the food choices. Okay, so this is where all this comes into play. Chicken, white breast chicken, I call it the devil bird. I have really not eaten it in six years. Right? I had chicken twice this week. Broccoli. I love broccoli. Haven't really eaten broccoli in over six and a half years. I had broccoli this week. Microwaved it, very soft, put in the casserole that I baked. But I had broccoli this week. No trouble. Right? Pickles. Pickles could be hit or miss for me. Whether I didn't chew it up well enough or whether they hung out on my bed, I've been eating pickles for three weeks, right? So where I've gotten to, and what I'm trying to say in this video right now, um, thank you for letting me go on, but it, the, I am now at the point where I have the rubber band around my wrist. Um, I haven't had any hard stops. I occasionally will have some soft stops. So that's where that habit of my portion control comes into play. I know that there's four ounces of food on my plate. I know what the caloric and protein counts are on that. Um, I'm comfortable with eating that, right? And sometimes I will get that soft stop burp or that soft stop runny nose, um, either right before I'm done or when I'm done. So the band is still working right? The hunger and satiety being the same. So I, I just, for me, it's, it's, it's what I was hoping for. It's week three. Let's see what week six, nine, 12, you know, I don't even know if I'll get that far. Will I get another fill when I go to the doctor? I don't know. 
Will I eat pineapple next? Maybe, you know, I don't know, but I'm really enjoying having the rubber band effect instead of the two by four. But I'm pretty sure that I needed the two by four to get me to the point where I was practicing all the habits and I changed my life, right? Um, so that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. So, you know, think about it for yourself. I, I have videos, you can go back and watch them. Too tight's not right. I recently made a video at the end of July. Maybe tight's not right, right? It's about the habits, it's about the lifestyle, it's about all the things that go into it. Where are you on your journey? You know, if you're having reflux, if you're having acid heartburn, um, if you're relying on liquids, if you're gaining weight, go see your doctor, right? Think about how you want to use a lap band. Um, I hope that helps somebody out there. It's now a, over an 11 minute video, but that's my update. Um, weight's 132.8, BMI is 19.1. Um, my body fat percentage based on my home withing scale, that's all I've used for the last three years, so that's what matters for me. It's just a metric, and it's accurate as far as consistency, 13.5. And uh, one of my pocket peeps got me started talking about, because she was, lean body mass. And as far as I can tell, it's about 115 pounds lean body mass. Um, so I'm doing good. And uh, my surgeon told me, keep it that way. <laughs> So uh, that's my update. Thanks for watching. It's football season. Go Hawks. Later. Bye.